Well, hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to use a contour kit as your eyeshadow. So, you guys hear me talk about the LA Colors Cosmetics Contour Kit a lot, and I absolutely love it. And I figured I would show you guys a tutorial using it as eyeshadow as well. Contour kits are not just for highlighting and contouring, like, whenever you're applying eyeshadow, you're basically contouring. So I wanted to show you different ways of using the contour kit, not just for highlighting and contouring, but I used, so I used it as my eyeshadow today. And also, I'm wearing the new Posey K Lip Kit by Kylie Cosmetics. It's not Lip Kit by Kylie anymore. Um, this is a really beautiful berry color. I have all of the colors except for True Brown and Coco K. Um, I don't really care too much for the True Brown. It's not really my thing. Um... I know I said I would step out of my comfort zone, but that's just, I know I'm never going to wear it, so I just decided not to get it. Um, the Coco K, I really, really, really wanted, but it was sold out, and it keeps on selling out, so I can't wait till I get my hands on it. Ew, why did my hair look like it was going out? Let's fix that. <laughs> and then for my foundation today, I am using my new Laura Mercier Soft Candle Glow. Is it? Oh. Candle Glow Soft Luminous Foundation. I did talk about this in the makeup haul that I did last time. And I really like this foundation so far. I've only used it a few times, but so far I do like it. It isn't what I normally go for. Like, you guys know I love full coverage foundations. But I, I don't know. Part of me wanted to do something more sheer um, and something luminous. I don't really feel like it really has, um, it's really like light reflecting or luminous. But I do love how it feels lightweight, and I like that it's not too sheer of a coverage, but it's also not a full coverage as well. Definitely like the foundation. I think that this would be great for all skin types. I don't have super oily skin, so I can't promise that it would be okay for it. But usually, like anytime I use like a luminous type foundation, it can sometimes make people look a little oily. And I don't feel like it does for me. I mean, I have combination skin. But I do have like the oily T-zone and stuff. So, I mean, do I look oily? I feel like I look luminous because I did use my strobe cream. So, and I did highlight a lot. <laughs> Anywho, if you want to see this look, keep on watching. Before I get started, I'm going to hydrate using MAC strobe cream. And I really wanted to use this so that I can get an extra luminous finish. And for my foundation today, I am using the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Soft Luminous Foundation. And like I said earlier, I am loving it. And I'm applying this with a beauty blender. And I wanted to use the beauty blender to give it more of a airbrushed look. I love the way the beauty blenders always make the skin look so flawless. For my concealer today, I am using the Sephora Brightening Serum Concealer. And I talked about this in my haul last time as well and I do like this concealer the only thing that I don't like is the applicator it doesn't really apply a lot and you have to dab it underneath but sometimes it's actually good not to put a lot anyway so that way you don't have any under eye creases so it helps me portion control <laughs> I just made that up For additional highlighting, I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Brush on Glow. It's a BB highlighter. And I really wanted to do this just to really brighten up the under eye. Alrighty, time to contour. And I'm using my favorite LA Colors I Love Makeup Contour Kit. And first I'm going to be setting the underneath, the under eye concealer with the banana shade and that vanilla-y color shade. And I'm using a Sigma a highlighting and taper brush. And then to set the foundation and everything, I am using the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Pressed Powder. 
just using a Morphe powder brush before I get going into the contouring. Now before I go into the contouring, I am bronzing my cheeks. And then I'll actually create a little bit more depth contouring with my NARS Eda brush. I'm just using a powder brush right now, just warming everything up. So I am using the cool tone color. I did use a warm tone at first. And to create that shade, I am using that cool tone. Ta-da! <laughs> just warming up my nose, just slightly contouring it, and then just going to contour my forehead as well, make that bad boy smaller. <laughs> and now I'm just blending it all in with that powder brush again. This is a Morphe powder brush. Next, I'm using the Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray, and I'm just wetting that brush because it's going to allow me to add um, a more pigmented, highlighted look. You do actually don't need to wet the brush. This highlighter is still pretty pigmented, but I did want a little bit more of a stroked appearance. Now, if it were summertime and I wanted like a super bronzy look, I would just use that actual bronzer as my blush. But I am using my Kiko Cosmetics. It's like a peach color um, blush. And next, I'm going to prime my eyelids with the NYX Eye Primer Base. And I'm just using an old BH Cosmetics concealer brush. I'm going to be using this, these few colors. This is my transition color. This is what I'm going to be using on the base of my lid. This is what I'm using on my brow bone. And then if you want additional highlighting, that is what I'm going to be using. Alrighty, so I put a little bit of that yellowy, light brown color on the lid, and I'm using the vanilla color on the brow bone. As the transition color, I pointed out I was using the cool tone color. I'm just using my MAC 224 brush, my favorite for using a transition shade. And I sometimes use this color before applying any eyeshadow because it's like a perfect matte cool tone brown and now with the warmer tones I am using my bomb cosmetics blending brush and I'm just adding a little bit more warmth and you can always add more layers of this if you want more depth I wanted a supernatural look today so I'm not going to go too intense and I absolutely loved this brush I've talked about it many times y'all know how much I love it if you've been following me for a while and if you haven't then start watching all of my videos <laughs> So with that highlighter, I am just applying this to the center of my lid. And then I'm just going to make sure and blend everything in. And then I'm using that warm color in the lower lash line. I want to keep this really natural, so I'm not going to make it too dark. And then for my gel liner, I am using my MAC Angle Brush. And I am using the NYX Gel Liner. Lately, I feel like all of my gel liners have been drying out fast. It doesn't matter which brand it is. It's kind of annoying me. I need to purchase some more of my Stila Cosmetics um, Stay All Day Liquid Liner. That one works awesome. This one's kind of new, so it hasn't dried out yet, but for how new it is, I'm not liking how it's feeling. So in the waterline, I am using the Tarte Cosmetics um, Inner Brightener Rim Liner. <laughs> I forgot what it's called, but I'll detail in the description box. And then I'm using my L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. Now, the reason why I use that inner um, rim liner is because it really makes the eyes stand out. It brightens everything up. It makes eye color stand out. Now, I'm using my Posey K Lip Liner. One thing that I wish about these liners is that when I sharpened it, it was a tad sharper, but hey, it's still pretty sharp. And I'm just going to outline my lips, and then I'm going to fill it in with the actual matte liquid lipstick. I love this color, and if you're into berry colors, I think this is a really great color. Can't wait for my Coco K to get in, though. <laughs> and the reason why I kept my eyes somewhat natural is because the lip is kind of bold. So I wanted a little bit more pink on my cheeks, so I did get that Stephen Klein um, contour palette, and I got the baby pink on the bottom left. It's a really pretty color. I just felt like I needed some pink in my life, and it's it's such a soft color, so it just looks so pretty. Okay, so I popped in some lashes, 
And these are just the Kiss Lashes in the number one from the drugstore. Super affordable. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching and if you'd like to see more, make sure and subscribe.